and welcome back to my channel or uh, welcome if you are new here it is thursday so that means it is palette roulette day with the glam gals which consists of myself christine from life with christine and gloria from makeup and more with gloria Pierre. it is that day where we take our spin the wheel apps which have our palettes our eyeshadow palettes on spin the wheels and whatever eyeshadow palette it ends up with that is eyeshadow ash eyeshadow eyeshadow palette Welcome to my channel where I have ta trouble <laughs> talking. Okay, that is the eyeshadow palette that we use to do a get ready with me with. We each have our own eyeshadow wheels or multiple wheels. I think Gloria has multiple wheels. and yeah, She does have multiple wheels. Um, so... Uh, if you ever want to join in, this is an open collab. We always put hashtag pal palette roulette into our either our title uh, description box or down where you put the tags. Um, if you make videos, you know you know places you don't know you know all the places all that you put the tags. So or you put put them in all three places really. So. You know, just um, make your wheel, spin your wheel, do the thing, all that good stuff, and um, upload your video and become part of the fun. So I'm doing this. I, I kind of ran out of, um, I have a busy week, so I'm doing this in the morning as I'm getting ready for work, and I got my coffee ready. So... Be sure and go and check out Christine and Gloria's videos if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and spin that wheel. Okay, we got ourselves a Christmas palette, although I think it can be used any time of year. It's one of those palettes that has everything that you need. It has blush, it has highlighter. This is a very good highlighter, by the way. And it has a bronzer in it, too. I think we can make a nice work. Oh, and it smells like, it smells like pine trees. And it's a very nice smell. And um, I think we can make a nice uh, work appropriate look with this one today. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have all my primers on for once. So this is a very cute palette. Here. Somebody on TikTok said this palette was on sale. And now I don't know if that meant it was on sale on the TikTok shop. If it was on sale at just um, Too Faced website if it was on sale everywhere let me do some research and put it down here um while i'm editing and put it down there below and we shall find out together um because i know this was a christmas palette and it's march so it definitely should be on sale if it's not already taken off the market um i'm sure it's got to be on sale everywhere uh, okay, we're going to start off with this shade, this pinkish shade called Trimmings. And work that above the crease. You know, the first couple of times I used this palette, I wasn't that impressed. Did I leave anything out in the, in the intro? It seems like my intros were, are usually longer. I'm just kind of... Um, trying to get through this fast because I got to get to work. I, I gave myself plenty of time. Yes, um, like I said, be sure and check out Christian and Gloria. If you haven't already given uh, Christian a happy birthday, her birthday was last Saturday on the 9th. Yeah, the 9th. I want to say that was the night. It was definitely last Saturday. Be sure and tell her, go tell her happy belated birthday. I know she would appreciate it much. I'm going to come home and edit this video. 
and then have it up ready for to ready for I'm filming this on Wednesday and oh my gosh this pine smell this it just smells like I don't know if that's pine or what but it's definitely very potent toothpaste I don't know about them putting smells in things this this palette is not that pigmented so if you like that kind of thing then you'll probably like this palette at least this pink trimmings I don't I don't usually mess with Facebook um, Facebook have I been saying Facebook this whole time Too Faced if you don't mess with Too Faced I don't mess with Too Faced that much okay now we're going into tree top tree toper I do like their play on words though There is one in here. Your wish. That's the one that gets me. Your wish with the Y U Y U L E. Your wish. I love that one. Your wish with an exclamation mark. This does have some really nice shades for if you want to make a fancy look too. Do, do I? I think this is the only. Keep wanting to say Facebook. This is the only Too Faced palette I have, I want to say. I've had other Too Faced palettes that I think I've decluttered or given given away. Too Faced, Too Faced. I do have a Too Faced bronzer. I don't want to say I don't have anything Too Faced because I do. I have a Too Faced because last time I said I don't have anything Too Faced, I had to retract that statement. I have a Too Faced bronzer that I really like. I have a Too Faced blush that I really like. So I do have things from Too Faced, especially that bronzer. I really like that bronzer. Well, I have two bronzers that I like, and I but like both of them. One's a little cool. One's a little more like a cool toned one, very light, and one's more definitely for the summertime. I've been given several of those lip injections as gifts, free gifts for purchase. No, I don't want to mess with those because I've seen people experiment with those and end up in a lot of pain. Okay, I've got the Jingle Bell Rock here. Like I said, just doing something simple for work. I know with these um, palette roulettes, I like to get a little bit more creative. It's just, I can't with this week, with going to work. Some days I'm a little more colorful than others with work. We are going, this is after the fact, but I am going to do a live, hopefully, if we're feeling up to it. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but hopefully we'll be doing a live tonight with the Tuesday night makeup club, although it's a Wednesday night. But I can't, I'm not making any promises on that. It'll either be on mine or Christine's channel if you want to go check and see if that, if that happened. We would be doing St. Patrick's Day looks. Like I said, I don't know if that actually happened or not because it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> but you're watching in the future now, so it might have happened. Oh, I like that. Jingle Bell Rock. I don't know if I've used that before. Yes, I still have my pajamas on. Haven't gotten dressed yet for work. <laughs> I wear a uniform. I didn't want to wear my uniform on camera. I don't usually wear my uniform while I'm putting on my makeup. Okay, we're going into... Well, let's see. What are we doing? It would be fun to do some fun colors here. Let's go ahead and go into ornaments. I think this is what I usually do. Going into ornaments, because it looks like this is a well dipped into color. And that shade right there, and put it in the middle of my eye, going towards the outside. Yeah, I like this color. They have this blue. I don't really mess with that blue color too much. It doesn't show up that well. 
this is a good part. This is a good party palette, I think. Because it has some good party colors in it. It has a green. It has a gold. It has that blue. Maybe if you just put that blue all over your lid, that'd be a good party color. Your blue in some of these, some of these shimmery colors. That green. I would love to play with that green sometime. Okay, now we're going into Well Lit. I don't think I've used this color. Well, it's hard to tell. For the inner part of my eye. Okay, yeah, that's real pretty. Yeah, I had wanted to go a different direction. I'm glad I went this direction. So this makes a nice light pink look. Something nice for springtime. So this isn't just a Christmas time palette. Just because something is marketed towards a holiday doesn't mean you have to just use it at the holiday. Okay, this is what the eye look is looking like right now. I think it's turning out great. I don't know what you think so far. Okay, I'm going to close this up. I'm going to clean off my brushes. Put on the rest of my makeup. Well, not the rest of it, but, um, well, I'll say, you know what? I'll just go put on my base, and then we'll put on the bronzer, the um, blush, and the highlighter. How about we do that, okay? Let me finish up my eyes. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my base face on. For reference, references, I use the, I got rid of that double shape, double take awake from Tarte, and I started using the Ciate London Fierce Flix, uh, felt tip liner on my eyes. It works a lot better than that, so that's what I use for eyeliner. For mascara, I use the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara, as well as the Tarte Light Camera Lashes on my upper lids. Then for my base, I use this Youth Foria. Uh, that's all it says on it. I think it's some sort of serum, but it doesn't feel like a serum. It feels like a thick foundation, and it's pretty full coverage. In 220, I'm sure that's light neutral because I had to mix it with my uh, LA Girl white mixing foundation or a pigment. And then uh, for concealer, used my Good Apple Concealer. And then for powder, I kind of mixed this sample I've got of my Makeup Revolution along with the sample I have of this Cab Cosmetics translucent. Uh, loose setting powder so that's what I and then in my I've written out my well people so I kind of put this I know this is a setting powder or a what do you call it not a setting powder but a finishing powder but I put a combination of this in my mortar powder in underneath under my eyes doesn't look as great as usual but um, it'll have to do for today. So, we're going in and using these things for my bronzer, blush, and highlighter. So, we are going to get, we need a non-cream bronzer brush. So, we need to find something. Where is, let's use one of these big brushes. Let's use one of these big brushes. And something that's not so concentrated and use that to get it all over. This is called Wish List. And like I said, this is the bronzer that it comes with. It's not a very deep bronzer, light to medium. I don't know. When they, when, when, um, Too Faced, still having trouble with their name here. When Too Faced makes bronzers for their palettes and stuff, 
They don't make them too dark. They're not very inclusive. Oh, and um, on my lips, I have my Rabani lipstick in, I can't remember if it's Tea Time or IDC. I think it's called IDC. It's the more pinker shade to go with my pinker look. This is probably definitely for more light, fair to light skin, I think. Maybe medium, if you lay it on thick. Okay, let's put on some blush. I'm not, uh, I'll use this darker blush, I guess. The other one is kind of very cool toned. Not that this look isn't cool toned, but it's very bright. <laughs> I don't want to go too bright today. I, I have used that blush before. It's very nice blush. It reminds me of the blush that I have from Too Faced, which I think is called Watermelon Rain. I want to say something kind of rain from that Cloud Crushers collection. I'm not used to putting on a lot of powder products anymore. It used to be all I put on was powder products. Oh, and in my eyebrows, I put the NYX uh, brow mascara in espresso and that ZC mascara, Slend Slender Mascara Z. Is that showing up? I'm sure in, um, what you call it? Editing, I'll say, yes, Jennifer, it's showing up just fine. It's hard to see with the light. Okay, and then, that was called a wet fun, and now we're making spirits bright. Yeah. With the lovely, lovely highlighter. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Could be Christmas all times of year. I'm going to put some up here. Okay, then we're going to work on the lower lash line. We're going to go back into trimming. Work that lower lash line. I do like the smell of this palette. Every once in a while. I don't know if I'd bring it out every day to smell it. We're going to start doing some lighter Easter looks. Maybe the week of Easter, week before Easter. I brought out some Easter palettes for my shot my stash, which I never did film, and I'm sorry about that. I just got that week I was supposed to do it. I got a lot of overtime, but you know what? Now that we have got things more stabilized at work, I shouldn't have to be working more overtime now. Just this week I had some appointments that I had to take care of. That's what this week was. Since I had so much overtime, I had to save my all, all my appointments for this week. That's why we couldn't do the live on Tuesday. Let's try a little darker of a color. Let's try this Decorate Me color. I kind of hesitate to put pinks underneath my eyes, but I'm getting a little, I'm going to get a little bolder with it. Okay. Now let's go into Tree Tooper and make a little line. Is that, let's use chestnut roasting, chestnut roasting. I like to use different colors under my eyes sometimes. Now the question is, am I gonna take this palette to work? I do have a big bag, so I might. A big tote bag. Just pull it out when I'm in the restroom. Okay, then we're going into Jingle Bell Rock. Give the bathroom a pine fresh <laughs> smell. Okay, and now I'm going to put in this um, Urban Decayed Corrupt into my waterline. So if this palette's on sale at Ulta or on the Too Faced website or at Sephora or all three, I'll put those links down in the description box. If it's just the TikTok shop, 
I'll write that down here. Um, I don't know how to, I, I don't know if there's some way you can link it to the TikTok shop or not, but I think you have to have TikTok to do all that stuff. So that could be a hassle in itself. So I don't know if we want to go that way. Okay, then we're going to do an inner corner highlight. And what do I want to do? Winter Wonderland or Snowball? Let's do Winter Wonderland. It's a nice little color here. Yeah, I think that'll work out royal. I think I always go for this color, though. <laughs> I've used this palette about three times. This will probably make my fourth time of using it. I think the first... The first time I didn't like it, I think the... I think... The, le the last two times I liked it, and I like using it this time. I think I just, there was a learning curve the first time. Sometimes when you use a palette the first time, it just takes a little bit <laughs> getting used to the palette. Okay, and this is the final look with all, with the Mary Mary Makeup Palette right here. And this is what it looks like again. The colors I used were this color right here, this color right here, this shade right here, this shade right here, and then this shade right here. Yeah. Yeah, those are the two. And then this for my inner corner highlight. Used this shade for had um blush this shade i always have trouble saying blush this shade for bronzer in this shade for my highlight i think it made a nice work look at least my version of a work look the only problem with this is it doesn't shut very easily this has a lip on it so you have to kind of do that with it so let me know what you think down below and, um, yeah, go and check out Christine and Gloria's videos. And, yeah, thanks for joining us for Palette Roulette. We try to do these every Thursday. Like I said, with everything, just like with the lives, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. You know how things go, life, everything like that. So, thank you for joining me so, so much. Please have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing day out there today. Subscribe, hit that like button, share it with your friends if you think they would enjoy it. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so, so much. All right, care, bye.